Peace, this is Akil Bay, back with video nine. We're gonna talk about why these Moorish Americans are confused. But we'll first start off with what nationality is. So this is from Black's Law 4th edition. It says nationality, the quality or character which arises from the fact of a person's belonging to a nation or state. So let's stick with that one sentence. Nationality is about your connection or how you relate to a state. So if ever you hear anybody, such as uh, many of these Moorish Americans who say, we don't need a state, how will you be able to prove your nationality without proving how you belong to a nation or state? What is a state? A state government. So you're not stateless, but we're gonna get into that. So let's just make that make sense, right? Your nationality. It's how you can prove how you belong to a state. So don't fall for people who say we don't need a state. Because how else will you attach or prove nationality? It says nationality determines the political status of the individual, especially with reference to allegiance. Okay, so that means pledging allegiance, right? It says, while domicile determines a civil, a civil status, nationality arises either by birth or by naturalization. So nationality arises by birth or naturalization. Why does it say or naturalization? Because birth is synonymous with naturalization. So let's continue. Well, actually, let's break this down right quick before I, I share another picture. So since nationality arises either by birth or naturalization, when we look back on Noble Drali's comment, Moroc uh, Moroccans were born in America. They were born in America, right? But we know this is the Moroccan Empire. But let's just stick with Noble Drali's oral statement. Why are you Moorish American? Because Moroccans were born in America. So if you were born in America and nationality arises either by birth or naturalization, we can now say that the nationality for the people who say they are born in America is American. Simple as that. There's no other government they can say they're anything else but that American government because they're born in America or they have been naturalized. Born in naturalization is synonymous in law. So just to recap this picture before we move on, nationality relates to your state, right? You belonging to a state. So don't listen to people who say you don't need a state when that's the connection to your nationality. On top of, it says, especially with reference to allegiance. So that means you have to pledge your allegiance to a state. That's what national means. National is in this word nationality. So if national means to pledge allegiance to a state and people want to be Moorish nationals, that means it must be a Moorish state or a Moorish state government. The United States has U.S. nationals or American nationals because people pledge their allegiance to the United States of America. Therefore, they're seen as Americans. Right. Simple enough. But I just want to call out the confusion and just keep it simple. Right. So nationality arises either by birth or naturalization. OK. Let's look at this this next picture. The Mor uh, Moorish American is not as distinct as a distinct nationality in the context of international law. Excuse me, it's not recognized as a distinct nationality. Nationality typically refers to a person's legal membership or allegiance to a specific sovereign state or country. So that's pretty much what we just read in the Black's Law Dictionary, right? Nationality typically refers to a person's legal membership or allegiance 
to a specific sovereign state or country. So state not only means state government, but state also is synonymous with country. Right. When people say I'm in California, I'm in Nevada. Right. You can say that's a state or you can say that's the country. It's, it's the same thing. So. Nationality is about your allegiance to a state. So, again, when people say you don't need a state, they trying to down what a state government is, trying to downplay it. That, that means they don't understand that nationality is your relation or you belonging to a sovereign state. So let's continue. It says Moorish American appears to be a term associated with certain social and religious movements, but it does not denote a recognized sovereign entity. There is no Moorish American government. There is no Moorish American state government. There's no one flag, national flag. For Moorish Americans, they have the United States of America flag they always throw up and then the Kingdom of Morocco flag that they always throw up. How do we know it's Kingdom of Morocco? Look at their constitution. How else do we know? We see the Kingdom of Morocco flying that flag at the United Nations representing the Kingdom of Morocco. That's how we know it's their flag. Simple. It says the term may be linked to historical or cultural references such as the Moors who who were historically Muslim people in North Africa. However, it does not it doesn't relate to a specific contemporary landmass or recognized nation state in the international legal sense. So Moorish America is no landmass, right? We, where is Moorish America? Just like African American or Italian American. There is no such thing as a landmass called Moorish America. It says nationality is generally defined by citizenship in recognized countries rather than cultural or historical affiliations. So what more say, hey, I'm a Moor by blood. You should respect me and see me and acknowledge me as a Moor. But if your political status doesn't say Moroccan and it says things like Moorish American or American, then it indicates <laughs> that you were born in America or your political status is that of an American. Simple as that. So nationality generally defined by citizenship. So people say nationality. OK, nationality in the term citizenship are often interchangeably used. So what what government are you a citizen or national of, even though the national citizenship is different? At the end of the day, they're still interchangeably used most times. So, again, what citizen are you a government of or national? What what government are you a national of? To be a Moorish national, you must be in a Moorish state. In Morocco. Right. A Moroccan national. In Morocco, a part of a Moroccan government. Just like U.S. national or American national is in the America, a part of the American government. America has its own limited jurisdiction. Okay. Now, these are the 101s that the Moorish Americans can't seem to stay away from, can't get off of. But it's a problem when they can't go to the treaties and they're stuck on these 101s. So let's look at question 31. What is the modern name for the Moabites? Moroccan. It's funny. I was on the live the other day with a uh, Kush day who said that, uh, I was incorrect in not following Noble Dralee's footsteps after him asking me, what's my nationality? I responded by saying Moroccan, just as it says in the 101s, right? And what she said was incorrect. So if Noble Dralee wrote these 101s, and Moroccan is the modern name for the Moabite, but according to Kush is wrong, then it's, it's quite obvious who is not following Noble Dralee's footsteps and who is. 
it tells you right here. Now, Moroccan is a nationality. That's a single nationality. Right? People named after the land, land named after the people. Morocco, right? Moroccan. That's a nationality. Why else is a nationality? Well, it denotes not only the land, but it denotes a state government that should be held. A Moroccan state government. Now, what is American? American is also a nationality. A single nationality. You know, John Hanson, George Washington, and the rest of the Europeans who started America in 1791. So those Europeans who started America, those dark-skinned Europeans who, hey, those are Moors too, the Moors in Spain, all this type of stuff. Remember, Spain is in Europe. Those, those dark-skinned people that came over here and decided to call themselves Americans in a political sense. That's their nationality, right? The name of their government is United States of America, right? So Moroccan is a nationality and American is a nationality. So in the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, when the Sultan of Morocco said, hey, United States of America, you can have your limited jurisdiction over here on the east side of the landmass where the 13 colonies, right? The 13 colonists who are the Americans, the colonists, so we know who the colonizers are, Americans. 13 colonies, same group of people. George Washington, John Hanson and friends, even though they were dark skinned, they were all from Europe. It, whether Republic, Democratic, it matters none. They were all from Europe. United States of America is the colonizers. That's their system. Right. So where is Moorish America? What? Where Where is that on the map? That's like African-American, Italian. -American. Where is Moorish America? What one national flag do Moorish Americans represent? Because you usually see them throwing up, again, the Kingdom of Morocco's flag and the United States. So let's continue with this picture. It says nationality can be contentious. It can be a contentious issue. However, as the acquisition or deprivation of nationality implicates other areas of law, of the law, including a state's sovereign right to determine who may enter and remain within its territory. So nationality and the acquisition of it, acquiring nationality, implicates laws pertaining to that sovereign state. Remember in the Black's Law Dictionary, Dictionary we read that nationality is all about your relation or you belonging to a state. So this is the same thing being said here, right? So obviously state governments or states, right, are needed. So we're not stateless or without a state government. But we'll, we'll learn more about stateless here in a second. So nationality is all about the sovereign state and their right to determine who may enter and remain in its territory. says consequently neither in neither the 1954 nor the 1961 statelessness conventions are widely ratified and a large number of states have domestic laws that deprive individuals of access to nationality who does that sound like united states on a discriminatory basis and or do not adequately protect the human rights of stateless persons within or excuse me stateless persons on their territory so stateless persons. So if you don't have a state, i.e. a state government, then you're stateless. Now, we just described the whole United States in this one picture, right? Moors are searching for uh, to exercise human rights, but are being deprived of. Right. Let's continue. It says the acquisition of nationality. Nationality can be acquired in three in one of three ways by birth on a state's territory, you solely, by descent from a state's national, uh, which is you sanguinis, or by naturalization. So let's stop there. Again, what did Noble Drali say in his quotes, in his oral statement? Moroccans born in America. Okay, born in America. So nationality is acquired by, by what? 
your birth in the state's territory. So if you're born in the United States, that territory, that jurisdiction, that limited jurisdiction in their government. Right. If you were born in there, then you would acquire the nationality that of American, regardless of what you say. If you're born in America, they accept you as American citizen. <laughs> then you're a part of that government. The next says by descent from a state's national or you sanguinous or by naturalization. So let's continue reading because we'll we'll talk more about you saying here in a second. It says the citizenship laws of each state dictate whether the state applies you solely or you saying and explain the requirements for naturalization. In states that apply pure you solely, an individual acquires the citizenship of that state by being born on that state's territory. So you solely is all about the soil, right? Okay, well, 13 colonies, the 13 colonists that were only supposed to be on the east side of this landmass ended up uh, being known as the whole landmass instead of just the east side due to colonization. So this this is no longer seen as the Moroccan Empire, according to many people, but it's now seen as America. Why? Because they have colonized the entire landmass. So. Now this land is seen as America, right? So Moroccans who should be born in Morocco or the Moroccan Empire, being that this is the Moroccan Empire. So should Nobu Ali's statement in the uh, correct way, the correct sense, that's aligned with the truth, right? The correct sense that's aligned with the truth should say, Moroccans born in the Moroccan Empire. Why? Because we are what our ancestors are, were, without a doubt, without a contradiction. What were our ancestors? Moroccans. How do we know? Because it's a Moroccan Empire. How else do we know? The United States of America didn't start until 1791. So how were you American before that? If by law, that's when America started. You can't be something prior to that that never existed by law. Now, we're not talking about random historical books by Europeans. I'm talking about by law. So. It says, again, states that apply pure use solely an individual acquires the citizenship of the state by being born on that state's territory, regardless of the citizenship or immigration status of the individual's parents. So it goes down to say in the other um, underlying section in states that apply you sanguinous, it does not matter where an individual is born. If at least one of the individual's parents is a citizen of the country, citizenship will pass to the parent to that pass from the parent to that child. One thing I recall on the live the other day with uh, Kush Day is that he said nationality comes from your mother. Okay, let's let's analyze that statement. Right? So if nationality comes from the mother, and nationality is all about what state you belong to, just how we read in Black's Law Dictionary. Right? The definition for nationality is about you belonging to a state. Okay, so what state does your mother belong to? A lot of our mothers belong to the United States of America. Or even want to say the United States acting like the United States of America. Whichever one you want to say. Still a colonizer system. So they're citizens. They're seen as citizens of that state. You're born. And they pass on the citizenship to that child. So the nationality of that state of America is what? American. That's the nationality. You can't be a German. See, you can't be saying, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a German in a political status, but I'm a, I'm a attached to the, the American government. Yeah, I'm a citizen of the United States of America, but I'm seen as German. Like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> if you're a citizen of the United States of America, you're American. 
There's U.S. nationals. There's American nationals. You can't be a German national. You can't be a Moorish national. You can't be a French national in the United States government. So we're talking about citizenship being passed down from the parents to the child. Citizenship, again, is interchangeably used with nationality. So whichever word you want to say, even though they're different, you can still use either word when we talk about nationality and citizenship. Again, yet they're still different. So I know somebody going to try to chop this video up and try to say, hey, he's trying to say they're exactly the same in all ways. Look, listen to what I'm saying. The citizenship passes from the parent to the child. Your mother didn't prove she was a part of the Moroccan government. When she had you, therefore, the citizenship passed on to you, Mr. Kush Day. What's the citizenship? I'm talking about United States. Period. It says, finally, states such as the United States apply both you solely and you sanguines. That is, children born on U.S. territory are automatically United States citizens. Are, uh, as are children born abroad to U.S. citizen parents. OK, so keep in mind that your nationality denotes to you belonging to a state. What more state government? Have Moors been uh, able to lay claim to? Again, if you want to claim Moorish nationality, you have to say. And prove, not say, you have to prove by law how you attach to a more state. Right? If your nationality is that of France, right, then you must prove how the French government, right, is related to you, how you belong to that state. Remember, state means government. So, de jure and de facto statelessness. The definition of a stateless person provided in the 1954 stateless Conven Statelessness Convention is a person who is not considered a national by any state uh, under operation of its law. Now, again, America or the United States of America has U.S. nationals. And had or American nationals. That's it. There is no other status that it can provide. Anybody cannot provide a foreign national anything as far as it them being a national. There'll be a foreign national, right? Meaning you're foreign to the United States. Meaning that the citizenship or nationality is not that of the United States. Right. So if you're a foreign national. And nationality. Is you belonging to a state that foreign national must prove they must prove by law what foreign state they belong to. Is really that simple. Now I'm using reference points here. This isn't even treaty, but yet this is reference points here. Mentioning how conventions and other treaties and what these definitions mean, such as the statelessness convention. Right. This is an international law document telling you what a stateless person is by definition. Reference points, lawful reference points. That's what's needed, not books, historical books made by Europeans who know nothing about law. It says generally a generally applied definition of de facto stateless person has been, quote unquote, a person unable to demonstrate that he or she is de jure stateless. Yet he has no effective nationality and does not enjoy national protection. That's the last picture. So who does this sound like? Moorish Americans 
who don't have national protection as Moorish nationals they claim to be because they can't prove they're Moorish nationals. They have never pledged allegiance. Remember, national means to pledge allegiance to a state. So if you're a Moorish national, that means you pledge a state, you pledge allegiance to a Moorish state. United States of America is not a Moorish state. They cannot provide anybody the status of a Moorish national. That's not how law works. So I just want to make this real quick video and prove simply how these Moorish Americans are actually confused because of nationality. One of the things you can take away from this video, if nationality belongs to a state and you got a group of Moors, Moorish Americans saying, hey, we don't need no state. Think about what they're saying. Nationality is important, just half the definition, I guess. Silly. Goof troops. Stay away from that mindset. It's leading people to jail. It's leading people to be called crazy and incompetent, even by the own United States officials themselves. This is why they call Moorish Americans crazy. Because it's like, they never finish the sentence or something. They close their eyes after they get what they want. <laughs> so I wanted to end this video here. I'll be making another video shortly. Peace and love.